Hey everyone, this is Ellen, Steven's friend. I'm going to be doing an interview on Heart Talk, so make sure you watch it and hit the subscribe button below. Hey, you're too good at this. She's going to end up stealing my show. Get off. Well, at long last, after much, much waiting and anticipation, this is her. This is Ellen. Hi. <laughs> so she's here and we're going to do an interview for Hard Talks. So enjoy. So Ellen, let everybody know how you know me. Hello everyone. Um, I actually had the pleasure of meeting Stephen Hart while he was visiting Brooklyn College many years ago to do his show, uh, Shadow Draper. Um, one of the professors happened to be in a meeting. He was supposed to meet with Stephen, and he asked if I could maybe show him around the college. And I was not expecting this young strapping gentleman <laughs> to walk into my office. But um, I knew from the minute I shook his hand that we were going to be good friends. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that's that's right. So um, do you remember? Do you remember actually the first time when I walked into your office? Did you know? Did you did you click that it, who I no, was? No, because I wasn't expecting you. I don't know who I was expecting, but it was I wasn't expecting you. Right. And then you walked in. I remember saying, "Can I help you?" And you were like, "I'm looking for Ellen." <laughs> and I remember going. <laughs> <laughs> so Ellen, I, I've not seen Ellen for four years this time, and it's the longest, isn't it, in our friendship that we haven't seen each four other. Four years too long. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Um, and obviously because I was waiting um, in the UK for two years from a transplant. So, and then I can travel for, well, at least 12 months afterwards. So what have you been up to in the last four years? I've been up to a lot. <laughs> in the last four years, I have been married to a wonderful man named Carlo. She's still married. Still married. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I got married. I inherited three stepchildren, three lovely stepchildren. Uh, within the last two years, I have gained three grandchildren, uh, all under the age of two, and my oldest is 13. So it's been a big, big change from the last time you saw me. Because, of course, uh, the last time Stephen saw me was at my mother's funeral. So life has definitely taken a beautiful turn since then. <laughs> so basically, I think the... You know, the, the lesson that I've learned from that is I can't leave her alone for two minutes, <laughs> let alone four years. Because look at what she gets up to. Ellen, I wondered what what did the whole Shadow Dreamer experience bring to you? Or, you know, what lasting memories and things do you have? I can remember the first time I saw a Shadow Dreamer. I remember I was one of a few people that was in the audience. I think you were just testing it yeah, at the time. Years. And like I've said time and time again, I laughed. I cried. I thought it was like a horrible story, but it was like, it was so inspiring. And the fact that you could tell it in such a way that you did with, you know, making it funny. You made a tragic story funny and it got me. I, cr I cried through most of it. <laughs> and I just remember thinking, how could these things happen to him? Like, that's so horrible. But to see what you become and, you know, how strong you are and, Putting out your story, it was it was very inspiring. So Ellen, can you remember a moment with us that makes you grin, but gr not grin in a nice way, but grin in a oh my goodness way, you know, something that we got up to. <laughs> that, you, that only the things you could tell them about. <laughs> <laughs> um, I remember we had a fantastic time having drinks at a Mexican restaurant. With, <laughs> I remember uh, waiting very long to sit down, but we just had such a good time. I could have waited there, you know, forever. We laughed the whole entire time when we left the dinner and stopped into <laughs> into, into a naughty shop. A naughty <laughs> shop. But do you think the laughing previous to that had anything to do with the um, 
the cocktails that came in, almost goldfish balls. Oh, well, I'm sure. I'm sure they, did. they were very good margaritas. They were very good. If I can find, I might have some pictures online that I can find that I'll attach um, of that night. Um, yeah, there's there was, some interesting pictures. There is night. some interesting. There was myself, Ellen, and June, June. my friend yes. June as well. If I had to put you on the spot and say most special moment, um, could you think of one? I have a few special moments. Um, like, first meeting you, that was, um, and the, I met you, and then the first day I saw your show, it really, it, it got it got to me. So that that was like a big moment for me. Um, another big moment is every time you leave. Mm -hmm. Those are very big, like strong uh, moments for me. Um, another, another kind of strange, maybe sad time was uh you arriving the day after my mother passed away that was like so <laughs> it got me so much that i called you just to tell you i didn't really expect you to show up and there you were the next day and you actually walked me down the aisle at, at my mom's funeral so that was very special to me i think for me um your mom and dad were um you know alan ross um Ellen's mum and dad, um, and Ellen lost both her parents in the same year, but they were just so welcoming, weren't they? They me? loved you. They, just, oh they were just like, come in, you know, we love you. you, you know, it was just, it was automatic, you know. And My mother saw how I lit up when you came into a room, and I was going through a pretty rough time at that time, so, you know, to, I guess to see her daughter yeah. light up. And then when she met you, like she just saw how I lit up when I talked about you. And then when she met you, mm -hmm. she, uh, she would have adopted you. Okay, Ellen. So four years ago, you came to London, didn't you? I did. I did. And That's spent exciting. spent a couple of weeks with me in London. Can you tell the viewers what you thought of London? Because obviously, a lot of a lot of heart talkers are New Yorkers. I love that New Yorker. New Yorker. Heart -talkers. Heart -talker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So. Um, so a lot of people haven't been to London, and um, Ellen, what did you think of London? I actually loved London. I wish I could have seen a little more of it, but we did do a lot of sightseeing. I think the first day I got there, yeah. saw, I saw everything. But um, London was actually a lot like New York, I found. You know, there's a lot of hustle and bustle, except the people were a lot nicer. <laughs> I remember everybody like was saying, hello, how are you? And I'm like, these people don't even know who I am. <laughs> But you're, uh, you're I, a worldwide style, and everybody knows you. <laughs> no, just everybody was like very, you know, uh, very open to meeting me. I met, I met most of your friends, and everybody was welcoming with open arms. And, and your party, my party, your party. It was my fortieth, <laughs> and we yes. had a Studio, Studio Fifty Four <laughs> party. And Ellen was staying with me, so she was <laughs> in the thick of the organization for the party. We made and all the signs for the party. We Remember did the spray painting. <laughs> spray painting Studio 54 onto these back black backdrops. Mm -hmm. um, but we had a ball, didn't we? We did. And, um, that was some party. Right? That, that <laughs> was some party. But I think it's Ellen. Everybody knew of you. Everybody, all my friends right. knew of Ellen. So Everyone. when... They heard this girl with the uh, American accent, they were like, that, that's <laughs> Ellen, that's <laughs> Ellen. You know, so it was kind of like, yeah, it's her. Um, the funniest thing I remember was most of your friends saying, say coffee, say coffee, because <laughs> the way I say it, like in a Brooklyn accent. <laughs> but that's what people do to me as well. They're like, uh, say hello, <laughs> hello. I'm like, uh, we don't say hello. <laughs> but um, yeah, so... That was good, that was fun. It was a great party. We had a hangover the next morning. Oof. For me, as I said, you know, Ellen was Ellen was my kind of escape from Shadow Dreamer. And I don't mean that in a bad way, but with any any project you're doing, you need to every now and again just be able to let off steam and escape. So um, that was that was what Ellen did for me, definitely. And um, I just wanted to say thank you um, for, for so many things, you know. Um, and I'm, I'm going to make her cry here. Yeah. Um, it always does. It always but, you know, does. just, yeah, because it's been, it's been, it has been, you know, since my, my first coming to New York and um, everything that went on and my long 
long time away, um, it's been nice to come back and see you and do all that kind of thing. And I just wanted to say thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm the lucky one. <laughs> you can probably tell when Ellen and I get together, there's far too much hilarity goes on. <laughs> we get silly. Yeah. A lot of things are bigger, aren't they? <laughs> I'm not talking about I that. Can't. I'm but sorry. things are bigger, aren't they? Yeah. We we go big, we we'll go home. Can you remember a time where we got up to something that was just <laughs> so if you could say one last thing to the Hard Talk viewers, what would it be? It would be watch Hard Talks. <laughs> and make sure you hit that subscribe button. And hit like. And hit like, yeah. <laughs> you better like it. Okay. okay, we will see you later, okay? Bye! Bye.